Well, historic day today with Donald Trump being arrested in New York, the first former president to face criminal charges. It has been a global spectacle. We're going to hear now from the former White House Chief of Staff, Mick Mulvaney. Mick, does Trump have a criminal case to answer here or not? Not really. I mean, technically, the answer is obviously yes. There's 34 felony charges against him, but they seem, even from the most uh, even liberal commentators' perspective, to be very, very weak charges. These are charges that would ordinarily be misdemeanors. It's sort of a misdemeanor plus a misdemeanor might make a very low-level felony. So that while there, yes, there are certainly criminal charges, I don't think anybody's seriously concerned about Donald Trump going to jail after these indictments were released today. What did you make of Trump's speech in response to these historic charges today? Yeah, I, I thought that I thought the speech was very flat. I was expecting something high energy. I was on um, AIM Agenda earlier today on, on Sky News and talked about how jubilant I thought the airplane ride home might be from New York City to Mar-a-Lago. The, the, the charges were so weak um, that you could not help if you were a Trump supporter to be enthusiastic about how the day had gone so far. And I thought the speech tonight would be high energy, would reflect sort of that optimism that came from a better than expected um, uh, indictment today. Uh, and the speech was very flat. It was could only be described as low energy. Uh, the president read almost entirely from the script. He was on the teleprompter the entire night. The president almost never does that. Former president almost never does that. And it was clear that he was tired. He was beaten by the day, perhaps. His family was not all present. His two sons were there. One of his daughters were there, but Ivanka was not. And his wife, Melania, and son, Barron, were not there either. So um, it was a very unusual setting for the speech that I think fell flat and did not help him politically. And Mick, what does the flat nature of Trump's speech say about his mindset, knowing him as you do? Yeah, uh, that's a really good question, Sherry. And I, I got to think it was it has to do with perhaps he was just worn out by the day, perhaps really despite all of his bluster and all of his, you know, putting forth a good face, he was really concerned about this today and was really disturbed by the fact that he was being arrested, that he, Donald Trump, former president of the United States, was being fingerprinted. Of course, he didn't take a mugshot. He was not handcuffed today, but he was taken into custody. He was arrested, technically. He was fingerprinted, and he was charged with 34 felonies. And I, I sort of got the impression watching that speech that that wore on him more than I expected and that it simply sucked the life out of him today and he had nothing to give during this speech this evening. Ultimately, do you think that this case and the fact that there are three other cases, two of them criminal, one civil, that are being pursued here against Trump, do you think this is going to help him win the Republican primary? Well, I think it's absolutely going to help him win the Republican primary. He's sucking all of the air out of the room. It, it, it's, it's going to be Trump, Trump, Trump nonstop for the next several months. Keep in mind, the next hearing in this criminal indictment is not scheduled now until December, so there'll be you know, several months to sort of talk about what might happen at that hearing. Um, and if you add on top of that additional criminal or civil charges, it's simply going to increase the amount of news media coverage that Donald Trump gets. And I think that helps lock up the Republican primary nomination. I don't think necessarily it helps him win the general election. Um, he, he, he's, people can still look at him and say, you know, I like the policies, but boy, I really don't like the baggage. And I really don't like the idea of voting for a guy who might have been criminally charged or even possibly convicted between now and November of 2024. So um, I think it moves the needle a little bit in his favor on the Republican primary. I doubt very seriously that it moves the needle very much when it comes to running against a Democrat in uh, 2024.